Hey friends, this is the Bear Claw, and um, today I'm going to be bottling up a Bavarian wheat beer. Uh, it's kind of like a half of Weizen, but it's, uh, it's lighter in color and lighter in taste too. So, this is my bottling day. I always boil my caps. And then I strain them. It's a good practice to get into. Let's see if I can clip off one of these heads of these beers. Last time I brewed, I clipped the head right off the beer. So I'm using these Windmere uh, bottles that I get. And they're out of Oregon somewhere, someplace in Oregon. I've um, also got these red caps too, and I'll explain that in a second here. While I'm doing this, putting the gold caps on all the wheat beer that doesn't have any little extras. I'm going to be doing some extras on this just. I've been uh, doing some research on coffee beer, and so I'm going to start making my own coffee beer, but not coffee stout. I've had coffee stout, but coffee beer. Now, this is a Starbucks, I think it's Christmas blend, and it's been uh, turned it into an extract. And um, if it turns out real well, I'll give out the recipe. I, I'm not sure. But I'm going to mix this much, this much to six of my beers and we're going to see what happens, see how they taste. And I'm thinking that this wheat beer might be, uh, I always check inside my bottles, might be light enough to where you can really taste that coffee. Um, coffee stouts are nice, but I really don't feel like I'm uh, having a beer with my coffee. So, I am trying to come up with a good recipe called Rise and Shine um, Coffee Beer. And I um, really don't care if anybody else doesn't like it or whatever. As long as I like it. Um, got the idea off the internet. There is an um, uh, Irish guy who has won a few awards for his coffee beers. So and he said if you cold brew your coffee, it works the best so that it doesn't uh, get bitter. And so the other night, just for the fun of it, I took an IPA that I brewed, poured it into a glass, then I poured some of this coffee into it just to see what it would taste like. And uh, it tastes pretty good. I might do an IPA, like a black IPA with, a, with some coffee on the next thing with it. That might be a good one too. So I'm going to just, uh, every brew that I make, I'm going to do like either, I'm going to do six bottles at a time. Unless I just absolutely come up with a recipe where I can do five gallons. But everybody that has been successful at it has put the coffee in last at the very end. They didn't brew their, their beer with the coffee in it. And so that's what I'm hoping for. So this is my little brew video today. I, I don't do very many brew videos. Um, not to mention I'm going to be packing up, going to be leaving here in uh, two months. So that's why I don't have my buckskins on and everything. Everything's packed. And uh, so 
wanted to show you what I'm up to. Maybe I'll do a, a video on the coffee one and uh, we'll do a review on it. So, thanks again for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I have a lot of beginner videos you can check out. Um, I'm not a super expert, but I don't consider myself a beginner too. So, like I always say, watch your top knot and keep your powder dry. And I'll see you next time that I'm on YouTube. See ya.